I've always been an active person, but I cannot say I've always been an active reader. It's not that I grew up in a home without reading, or that I had a language disorder. My parents read to me all the time, and I looked up to my older brother, who was always an active reader. I just preferred to be outside, playing in the dirt, running around, always moving. I never enjoyed reading for pleasure because it was hard for me to find pleasure in sitting still. I remember many times when I was younger struggling to focus reading. I would get fidgety, and my mind would wander. I remember trying to read in third grade, but I gazed out the window at the playground instead, longing to be outside playing with my friends instead of sitting down and reading. In third grade, I scored below grade level in reading on standardized tests and proceeded to see a reading teacher for a few years. My parents worked really hard with me, helping me read. I really liked art, so I worked hard on book report projects. These projects helped me comprehend stories better. I was also motivated to do well and learn, so I participated in the local library summer reading lists. My reading teacher recommended Harry Potter to my mom and I. It was a difficult read for me at the time, so my teacher recommended getting cassette tapes with the story read aloud. I tried listening to the tapes, and it really helped me. It allowed me to listen to someone else reading the text clearly as I read along, which helped me comprehend the text. I also really enjoyed the voices. I started reading more books on tape because it worked well for me. Looking back, I realized books on tape made reading more accessible for me. One of the first times I sat and read independently without listening to tapes, I was laying in a bubble bath. Maybe it was because I was in the bath, so I was comfortable and didn't need to get up and move around. Or maybe it was because I was reading a newly discovered favorite author, Roald Dahl. Or maybe it was because I was reading a collection of short stories that didn't take much time to read. Whatever the case may be, I remember being engaged in the book, wanting to read more, and being surprised that I enjoyed it. I also remember reading James and the Giant Peach, a book that is still one of my favorites. I'm an animal lover and I loved how the critters in the stories were personified. One of the short stories from the book I was reading in the bath involved an exciting adventure which sparked a curiosity in adventure books. I proceeded to read Hatchet, a book that is still one of my favorites. I remember putting myself in the main character's shoes and getting totally immersed in the adventure. I was on the edge of my seat, reading through the suspenseful scenes, imagining what I would do if I was there. I even had dreams about being in the book. I also read all of the series of unfortunate events books because I loved the thrilling adventures the characters had. Reading never came naturally to me and usually felt like a roller coaster ride with ups and downs. I've always been easily distracted. It took a lot of training to learn how to focus all my attention on a single task for long periods of time, especially reading. This is something that a lot of middle school students struggle with and that I can relate to, which I believe will make me a better educator. With the help of supportive parents, the local library, a reading teacher suggesting books on tape, motivation, and the discovery of some great books that genuinely interested me, I became a lover of reading.